Last time around we looked at the states in Flex and how to create a simple setup here that you saw and you may remember you know with two different states and how we can change the content. This time around we're gonna fancy things up a little bit and rather than having the abrupt change in state we're actually gonna use some transition effects to make things a little more subtle and a little more smooth and, and a little more sexy. So I've actually put the code in place and I'm gonna go through it so I'm gonna switch over to source code view and everything else I think is the same except for this little section here you'll see just like with states I've actually gone in and I've added some transitions so let's just correct that thing now so we have this little extra sort of set of tags these transitions so just like states we have this list of transitions and inside there we have a transition and essentially what we do is we say from state and to state so we're saying when we go from state 1 to state 2 I want something to happen and what I want to happen I list in here and look in the documentation for the Flex SDK there are a lot of transitions you can put in you know blur is popular fade is popular and so what I've done is just an example I've put a fade in here and you have to give it some targets so what it expects is an array and so in here I have a list of two objects, it's an object array and that's essentially my accordion component, this.acc state 3 and this.grid state 2 and just for the sake of simplicity what we've done is in the next transition that I have listed is going from state 2 to state 1 and I have the same thing this.acc state 3 and this.grid state 2 and I just want it to fade and I've just left the rest out of the, so the defaults for the fade effect uh, this is just purely to show you how you set one up you know like I say go away there are lots of effects you can do and you can have combinations or you can have parallel effects as well just go read the documentation look at what's in there you know this is kind of like that the thing with fonts in the early DTP years, you know, don't overdo it. Don't have a huge list of, you know, fancy effects with fading and swooshes and that kind of thing and stretching, scaling. You know, don't overdo it. Keep them simple. Keep them subtle because you don't want the the user doesn't want to sit there and appreciate a five second transition between state. They just want to get on with things. So you know, just just be careful how you use them. You know, they're kind of like slide transitions. Don't overdo it. Don't have a whole multitude of different ones. So in this one, we're just going to have essentially a fade effect when we switch between state one and state two. Now I haven't added an effect to the default state because I just want to you to see the difference because you know the way that this video is recorded and with the compression you know you may find that the it's difficult to see the effect on the video so I wanted to make sure that there was something in there that you could see what happens when you don't have the effect so I'm gonna click the debug button here and run the application so we have our default state and in the default state you know when we go from the default state to state 1 or state 2 nothing is going to happen because as you remember you know we don't have a, a transition listed here for that if you wanted to add one you just use empty speech marks to say this is going from the default state so when I click to change to state 1 we have the, the default you saw that abrupt change but now when I click to change to state 2 what should happen is you know the data grid should fade out and the accordion component will fade in and there you go and the same in reverse when I click to change to state 1 according to the transition you know the accordion component is going to fade out and the data grid is going to fade in and there it is and so you know there's just a nice little subtle change in state there just adds a nice little effect for the user um, but it's not too overpowering and it doesn't take too long it's just very quick but very subtle and just adds a nice smooth slick feel to your application so we'll just close that there so like I say you know look in the documentation at all the different effects you can have for transitions but that is how we set up a basic transition between states in a flex application